Right, so video number two, here we go. Um, so first step is to create the tables we need in our, or create a database first of all. So in WAMP server, create a new database is as simple as saying create database. I'm gonna call mine search. And then we're gonna need two tables inside search. So the first one I'm just gonna call text. Now obviously, um, for your own project, you might want to give these your own names. Uh, if you're just following along at the moment, uh, it could be worthwhile just following exactly as I'm doing and then you modify it to suit your own project. So for this, I'm just gonna have text as having two columns. It will just have, each item will have its own unique ID and that's particularly important. And again, the size doesn't really matter. That will vary on the size of your own website. Uh, but making sure that this is the primary key and set to auto increment, which is very important. And then the text field itself, I'm just going to call description because this could be description of a book or an item of clothing or something in your catalog, I don't know. Uh, but the, the type is varchar and I'll give it a, a decent length. And again, the length is really up to you, it depends on what it is that you're using uh, the site for. Right, so I'll save that. And then the second table I'm going to make. I'm just going to call this one Metaphone Text. It's not the best name in the world, but at least it tells us what it is. This is the Metaphone equivalent of the text table. This is going to have three columns. So the first one is its own unique, uh, its own ID. So I'm just going to, I guess, call it MT ID for Metaphone Text ID. And primary key and auto increment. The second field I'm just going to call it sound for want of a better word because this is what our what our text is going to sound like I'll make that varchar and again I'll make that about 2,000 characters and last but not least we need to actually have the ID of the text that has been phonetically encoded here so I'll make that five as well because that will match and you notice this is the common ID, this is the text ID from our text table. So we'll save that. Now we're not going to put any data in there because in this video we're actually now going to create a form that will insert stuff into both tables. So I'm going to work in Notepad now and um, first thing is I'll just do a little uh, database connection string here so we can use that whenever we need it. So uh, just save a blank page here. I've just created a new folder called search. So I'll put everything in the same, same folder. And uh, I'm just going to save this one as DB Connect, short for Database Connect. And uh, quickly go through that. Create a variable called DB Connect uh, equals MySQL Connect. Just go through this really fast. Uh, what are the parameters that I need to have here? Let me think. Oh, yeah, the address, which is localhost. Uh, the username, which on WAMP is root. You may just want to check that on any other uh, local service you're using. There's no password on WAMP. Obviously, you may have your own one. And then the name of the database, which I'm pretty sure we call just called search. I should just double check that. Search, yes, okay. So uh, that's our connection string. So um, I'm gonna leave that alone. Create a new new page now. So this will just be our form. So uh, for adding, adding text to it. So we'll just save this as add text. PHP again. Now we don't actually need to um, connect to the database for this one, so we don't need the include, but all we need really is a form here. So I'm just going to have a form that is going to post information through, and the action, the page that it's going to go to, I'm just going to create another page in a minute called entertext.php. Right. So there'll be two uh, inputs here. The first one will be the text field, so uh, input name equals call it text because that'll match the field name. I'm not going to put any max character length or anything like that. You can do all that formatting yourself. Uh, and the other input type we need is a submit button. And give that a name of submit. It's always nice to, have, nice to have a value as well. If I could spell it right. Okay, there we go. So there's our form. And so when we uh, submit this form, it's going to put the information in this text field into our post array and 
send that away to the enter text page, which we'll create now. So here we go. And this is where all the fun stuff happens, I reckon. Enter text. There we go. Right. First step is we actually do need to connect this page up to our database. So we're going to include that DB Connect page. So that will now hopefully activate that connection between this page and the database. And then what we're going to do is we want to take the first step I think we should do is uh, take the incoming text in the post array and let's uh, encode it phonetically using Metaphone. And um, let's just have a look at what that actually looks like. So I'll just create a variable and I'm just going to call that one uh, new text. There we go. And we're going to use the Metaphone function, which looks exactly like that. Metaphone with two brackets. And the thing that we're actually going to be encoding is from the post array, so dollar sign underscore post, and in square brackets, apostrophe, I think we called that field text on the previous page. And uh, let's just echo that variable just to really double check that this is working. So if I save that now and test that, so if we go to my search page, add text. So if I put in the word quick, there's KK. All right, so that's, that's uh, doing something. If I put in Fox, FKS, great. Okay, so that seems to be working. So let's just remove that echo. Okay, so we've got the uh, information coming through. Now our job is to insert it into a database. Now it's pretty straightforward to insert into one table, but we're going to need to try and do two tables. So uh, let's first of all insert into the text table that we created. And remember the field was called description and then we have the values that we want to insert. Now we're also going to want to do something else though. Then what we're going to want to do is actually get the maximum ID from that uh, text field and use that and then we're going to want to go ahead and do another insert into the Metaphone text table. So there's going to be three steps here. So let's just go through them one at a time. So we're going to insert the following information. We want our post text to go in here. Now of course it is going to be a um, string so we need to have an apostrophe around it and uh, I need to break out of the query so you can see the, uh, oh sorry out of the um, string. So there's our two uh, speech marks and then we're going to concatenate, in other words insert or join on the post text. Now the only thing we also probably need to do here that's quite important is we should uh, use our MySQLi real escape string so that if there are any apostrophes or someone tries to do something nasty to attack our attack our website through a text field, we can prevent that. So if I go MySQLi real escape string, there it is there, and then I'm going to wrap, oops, wrap the post text in the bracket there. And Notepad's trying to be super helpful and move brackets around, so just be careful of that. So you can see I've got the MySQL a real escape string, I open the bracket, there's the post array and the text content of it, closing the bracket, which is closing the MySQL escape string. Then we restart the query, there's the apostrophe that goes after the post text, and there's the end of the bracket that closes off the values. Right. And now there's a semicolon there because we're going to be now doing a second thing. Remember, once that runs, that's going to insert something into the text table. And if I look at our structure, uh, that will insert something in here and the text ID number will automatically be set because that is our primary key and we set it to auto increment. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that number because we know it'll be the highest one in that table and we're going to use that, if I go back, when we insert the Metaphone text into the Metaphone text table and we're going to put that number into field 3 here, text ID. Okay, so the way to do that in SQL is we're going to set a variable, so I'm going to call that at max ID, oops, and we're going to make that equal to, and in brackets here, I'm going to select, whoops, the max text ID, um, 
as max ID. I'm not sure why I'm doing that, but anyway, from the text table. Okay, so that's setting a variable here we can use. And in our very next line, then we're going to go insert into the metaphone text table. So metaphone text. And the fields that we're inserting are, I think we call it sound and text ID are the two we need. And then we've got, of course, the values that need to go in there. Right, so the values that we're going to put in, I uh, first one is sound, so that's going to be a string, so I just need to put apostrophes there, and inside that I need to speech mark it, dot for the concatenation, and this is where that variable new text will go, that's the um, the metaphone text, and then there's concatenate to go back into my query. And after that apostrophe, then the other thing I want to put in there is the at max ID. That is the variable we just set in the previous part of this query. Okay, and then our query ends here. All right, that's a monster query. Let's see if that works, I guess. So we'll, now we'll run it. So I'm just going to say dollar sign query. MySQLI query. There are two parameters there. The first is the um, DB Connect string, and then the query itself. So if we run this, it should, all going well, uh, work. Let's find out. So I'm just going to have a little bit of text to appear on the page. It says, text entered. And uh, let's go and test this. So here we go. Back to add text. So I want to put in quick brown fox. And we submit it. And I have made a mistake. Oh, of course, my bad. The MySQL real escape string has two parameters as well. I forgot the DB Connect, sorry. Oop. Yep, that's right. Okay, so we'll try that now. There we go. So that's saying the text has been entered. So we go into our database now. Uh, if I go to the text table, it's not going to work. That's awesome. Uh, why are we not working? Yeah, okay. Um, my bad. Forgot something. Uh, we ran a MySQL query here. Uh, of course, we're running three queries. One, two, three operations. So it actually needs to be a MySQL multi-query. And so if I save that now and run it, there we go. That should run all three of them. So if I browse the text table, there's quick brown fox. And metaphone text is quick brown fox, but in fox. Um, and I had to do a bit of testing <laughs> offline there to see where I went wrong. Um, and you can see it's actually matched the text ID of 2 to my text table. If I enter some more text, so let's just go back here, and I've put in, uh, I don't know why I'm obsessed with a quick brown fox, but I am. Jumped over the lazy dog. When we submit that, uh, if we rebrowse my text table, there's 2 in there. And the metaphone text now has 2 as well, and you notice that the IDs are matching. So... Um, what we've got now is the basis for setting our site up ready to have the search engine. We've got the table set up. Uh, we have the ability now when we go to add content into our site or to edit content, we can actually do the, the Metaphone equivalent as well in another table. So next time what we're going to do is we're going to create a search engine, a uh, search now that will actually go through and try and match sounds.